Hi, I wanted to go over the uh, position of C2020F8 or Comet Swan starting with May 1st for our location here in Michigan over the next two weeks or so to show you how difficult it's going to be to see this comet. This first frame right here is actually on May 1st at 6 o'clock in the morning. And that green line is our horizon, zero degrees horizon. As you can see, it's barely off the horizon in the southeast when the sun is not quite come up yet, but the sun is only approximately five degrees off the horizon. So six o'clock is gonna be fairly bright twilight and it's just crested the, our horizon here. So this is gonna be problematic to even see it, even if you have a clear horizon. So we're gonna go one day at a time here. So this would be the next day, um, the second of, or the third of May, rather. And as you can see, it does, does get farther above the horizon, and it is heading north, <clears throat> um, while the sun is still just below the horizon. At this point, on the 10th of May, we're 13 deg degrees above the eastern horizon as an azimuth of 89 degrees, almost 90 degrees, so almost due east, it's 13 degrees above the horizon. If we go um, 30 minutes sooner, or an hour sooner, it's just barely above the horizon at 5 o'clock in the morning. If we go to 5.30, <clears throat> it is up um, 7 degrees off the horizon, about an hour, not quite an hour before sunrise. So there's an opportunity there starting around the 10th to catch it just off the eastern horizon. This is that azimuth 84 degrees and uh, altitude 7 degrees at 5.30. Let's move along a couple more days. And on the uh, 15th, uh, as we come up here, on the 15th, it is um, 13 degrees off the horizon now in the northeast at 64 degrees azimuth. As you can see, there's a little bit of distance between that and the sun. But again, it's not very far off the horizon. Now, theoretically, if it's got a decent tail, it'll come out to the, to the west and, and towards the Andromeda. So we might be able to actually see the tail rise in total darkness before the core actually comes up. So that depends on how that, that plays out. And we go a little further to the 20th, and we now have it at uh, uh, 14 degrees, almost 15 degrees above the northeastern horizon. Uh, and uh, the sun still has not come up. And this is, again, at 5.30 in the morning on May 20th. go out to the 25th and it's now almost due north of the sun at still only 13 degrees above the horizon azimuth 37 uh, degrees so it's in the east uh, north northeast at this point so the point I'm getting to is if we assume a do an hour before sunrise which is going to be relatively dark we've got a chance of seeing it but it's not going to get higher than 15 degrees above the eastern horizon so hope you enjoy this and it's useful to you and to understand where it's going to be as it comes north. Thanks for watching.